I'm so excited to see you back again. Have you had a good week? I hope so. We're starting a new foundation this week. God is truth. God gives his word. And our big truth for this week is God defines what is true and what is false. So what does that mean? Well, if something is true, that means it's right. It's correct. And if something is false, that means it's not right. Have your family ever told you to always tell the truth? That's one of the rules at our house. It means we always say what really happened. We don't ever make anything up, even if it means that we get into trouble. God is truth, and he tells us to always speak the truth. And we can find out what the truth is by reading our Bibles. Let's play a game of true or false. If what I say is true, if it's right, give me a big thumbs up, say true. If what I say is false, it's not right. Give me the thumbs down, say false. All right, are you ready? Okay, here we go, first one. This is a bicycle. What do you think? False, it's a football. <laughs> All right, let's try another one, are you ready? This is pink. True, very good. All right, I got another one for you. This is a school bus. False, it's a jet plane. How about this one? This maraca makes a shake shake sound. Good shake, shake sound. All right, I got one more for you. My hair is pink. False. What? Don't you think I'd look awesome with pink hair? Maybe not. <laughs> you guys did awesome. Let's look at our Bible verse for this week. We can find it in John 17, 17. It says, your word is truth. Well, that's pretty easy, isn't it? Let's practice that one together. Your word is truth. Excellent. Say it up as high as you can. Your word is truth. Very good. How about down as low as you can? Your word is truth. Very good. Now, say it holding your nose. Your word is truth. Excellent job! John 17, 17. Our story today is about Joseph and Pharaoh. One night, Pharaoh had a strange dream. He dreamed that he saw seven fat cows grazing by the Nile River. Can you count them with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then he saw seven skinny cows by the river. And the seven skinny cows ate the seven fat cows. Oh. Then Pharaoh had another dream. In this dream, he saw seven healthy heads of grain. Grain grows in a field, and it's what we make bread out of. Can you count the grain with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then seven shriveled up heads of grain appeared and they swallowed up the seven healthy heads of grain. Whoa! No one could tell Pharaoh what his dream meant. They called in all the men who were meant to be so clever, but it was no good. None of them could tell what the truth was. But then Joseph was called in. Joseph walked with God and Joseph knew what the truth was because God told him. Joseph told Pharaoh that the dream meant that there would be seven years of plenty, that means lots of food to eat, followed by seven years of famine, that means there's no food to eat. And because Joseph trusted God, they were able to prepare for the famine during the seven years of plenty and save so many lives. God is the creator of everything. He is truth. And we can always find truth when we go to his word, our Bibles. You can always trust what you find in here. 
and God calls us to always speak the truth. Joseph could have gotten in some really big trouble bringing bad news like a famine to the Pharaoh. Pharaohs do not like getting bad news. He could have had Joseph thrown in jail or killed. But because Joseph trusted God and told the Pharaoh the truth, so many people were saved. Now pick a few songs and sing and dance and praise the Lord. But before we wrap up, let's say our prayers, okay? Big clap. God, we thank you for another wonderful day and the chance to come together and worship you. We thank you that you are truth, that we don't have to wonder what's right and what's wrong, that we can always go to your word and know the truth. We pray for a wonderful week ahead. In Jesus' name, everybody's third. Hey!